hello and <coughs> welcome to today's video so today we are going to talk about the <coughs> McLaurin series it's a very important concept in the study of real analysis so please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel for more videos and please like the video if it helps you so in this video we are going to discuss the McLaurin series after which we are going to find the McLaurin series for this particular function and estimate it, use it to estimate the value for um, e raised to the power 2. So one thing you have to know is that the Maclaurin series is the same as the Taylor series, which has been expanded about the point x equals 0, meaning that in our Maclaurin series, always our x naught is equal to 0. So, let f of x be any function you want to find the Maclaurin series of it. Then Maclaurin series is given by this particular formula here. So, the equivalence of this formula here is this. And this happens to be the expansion for the Taylor series. But you realize that with the Maclaurin series, always our s naught is 0, 0. So that's the reason you can find 0 here and 0 here. So this happens to be the formula for expanding our Maclaurin series. So when we expand it, you realize we are going to get this, as you can see here, where this is the first term, this is the second term, this is the third term, and this is the last term, or the nth term. So you realize that this here stands for the first derivative, the second derivative, and the nth derivative. So whenever you have any function f of x, and you want to find the Maclaurin series of it, we use this formula to do the expansion. So let's quickly take an example. So the example says, find the first four terms of the Maclaurin series e x and calculate an approximate value for e raised to the power 2. So we are supposed to find the first four terms of our Maclaurin series. So note that in this question, our function f of x is e power x. Right, so using the formula for finding the Taylor series, I'm sorry, the Maclaurin series, then f of x will be equal to f of 0 plus f prime of 0 times x, then plus f prime prime of 0, x squared over 2 factorial, then plus f prime 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 of 0, x cubed over 3 factorial. So we got this formula from the general formula here, right? So now that means what we have to do is to find f of 0, find f prime of 0, f prime prime of 0, and f prime prime of 0. So you realize that our f of x is ex. So f of 0 means wherever we find x, we put 0 there. So that gives us 1. Then f prime of x. You realize that since our f of x is an exponential function, no matter the number of times we differentiate it, we are still going to get ex. So f prime of x will give us ex. When you put in our 0, you will get 1. So for all of them, we are going to get 1. Right? So, after getting 1, then that means we have to make the substitution into our main formula. So we have 1 here. The whole of this is also 1. This is also 1. And this is also 1. So making substitution into the main formula, we are going to get 1 plus 1 times x, which is x, then plus 1 over 2 factorial times x squared, then plus 1 over 3 factorial times x cubed. So when we do further simplification, we are going to get 1 plus x plus x squared over 2, since 2 factorial is 2, then plus x cubed over 6, since 3 factorial is 6. So this here happens to be the Maclaurin series of e x up to the fourth term. So generally the Maclaurin series for e x is given as summing from and starting from 0 to infinity s n over n factorial. Right. So this happens to be the 
answer to the first part of the question. And the second part of the question says you are supposed to use this expansion here to estimate this here. So you realize that making comparison, our x is equal to 2. So that means in our estimation, wherever we find x, we are going to put 2 there. So we are going to get 1 plus 2 plus 2 squared over 2 plus 2 cubed over 6. And this is going to give us, the whole of this gives us 3, this gives us 2, and this gives us 4 over 3. So, finding the sum, we are going to get 19 over 3, which is going to give us 6.3333. So, we decided to leave it in 4 decimal places. Alright, so this is going to be the approximated value for e raised to the power 2 using the expansion that we found in A. So, thank you very much. This is all about the McLaurin series. So, the exact value for E raised to the power 2 is 7.3891. To note that if you had brought in a lot of terms, we would have gotten something which is very close to what we have here. So, to an, uh, make sure that you really understand the McLaurin series, you can try finding for the McLaurin series of cos x and sine x right you get some interesting results so thank you very much and all the best